AI has been one of the main trend topics in the last years. We at Capgemini Invent made successful use of it in different industries like automotive, aerospace, pharma, etc. But what is with financial services and in particular with the compliance function? Renato, I would expect that AI with its holistic approach, utilizing data from various IT systems, integrated or not, can provide significant impact here. Is that right? That is indeed true, Ulrich. We at Capgemini Invent have already conducted several POCs on compliance use cases with very convincing results. For example, we have applied our AI algorithm on trade surveillance and fraud by achieving outstanding results, like for example, increasing risk coverage a lot. That means significantly more true positives identified, but also on the other hand, reducing false positives by a large scale. It has as a consequence, uh, a reduced processing and operations cost for, for the company. So you say the AI approach is much more efficient and also effective. How can that work? Why is AI so much better than the traditional rule-based approach which you find in the standard tools? Well, the answer is, is very simple, but also surprising as well. Um, the AI algorithm is able to build a net of linear and non-linear rules whereas the traditional rule-based tools just have some linear rules in it. So to give you a feeling from a real-life example how it works is I give you an example from fishing because I'm a hobby fisher, I like to fish, and um, it's, it's like that. Um, a traditional rule-based tool is like taking the line and going to fish uh, on the sea for, for a big fish. In this case, the big fish is the bad guy. Well, you need to have a lot of luck, or it's a lot of luck to get the bad guy like that. You might even take 20 lines and still hope to get the big fishes, but it's still a lot of luck in play. Whereas the AI solution works like that, that it in instantaneously builds a net um, and that is much more effective in fishing. And that's quite the difference between modern fishery that makes use of nets and all traditional fishery. So the compliance uh, and financial institution need to move to this type of solution in the future to also become modern in, in their compliance function. Thank you for that good picture. It all sounds good, maybe too good to be true. I also assume that this approach is much cheaper than going for the old traditional tools. Is that right? And why is this the case? So uh, the reason for that is quite simple. The AI solution is based on open source software, which costs nothing. It's for free out there. Whereas the out-of-the-box tools, solutions that are there, they need to be bought. Um, they have licensing costs through the years, but also maintenance costs. In contrast to also to the AI solution, the out-of-the-box solution need also to be implemented and lengthy integrated into the company. And this type of, uh, of costs are not there when it comes to AI solution. The AI solution needs a couple of months to be implemented um, into the company. It has a big advantage that it can take data from different uh, types um, of, of data into the company and they do not need to be integrated to each other. That's a huge advantage of the AI solution that reduces costs a lot in comparison to out-of-the-box solutions that are to be bought in the market out there. Understood. That really sounds promising. So why aren't those solutions yet in place? What is the biggest challenge, Renato, which banks currently have to implement those solution approaches? Well, uh, in my opinion, the main issue right now, it's not the technology. Uh, the AI is quite there yet, but it's much more the regulatory gap that needs to be bridged. The regulators, they have um, still the approach or they follow the approach that um, the financial institution need to getting market known rule based tools and implement them so that the rules are known to everybody and they are simple to be understood. 
And the AI doesn't work like that. The AI is a little bit more complicated and more sophisticated. And this bridge needs, this gap needs to be bridged um, in, in, in the future. But we are helping our clients with that. We are helping our clients further develop the AI solution to be more explainable. And on the other hand, go into the dispute with the regulator to also bring the regulator there to accept the AI solution. And I think we are on a very good path and it's uh, going to take another couple of years to be there, but I'm sure that the AI will take the stage here. Great, thank you, Renato. Thank you, Ulrich.